Strenky, this is Prison Architect and let's get cracking. So, um, after I was telling you how important it is to make sure you save and resave, and guess what? I forgot to save the, uh, the progress on the last episode. Uh, luckily there was an autosave somewhere in there, so I didn't have to redo everything, but I've put pretty much everything as it was. Um, I might have missed out a couple of things, but it's pretty much there and I've got the cameras working so what I was doing wrong was I've gone into utilities at least I found this to be the way to do it I select the CCTV monitor and then I make a connection from it um, connect and then I attach to the different cameras from the actual CCTV monitor not the other way around some reason it doesn't work the other way around I don't know it should but it doesn't um, so that's one thing the next thing is I want to clone some of these because they weren't being cute and having their lunches in the um, in the common room they were just taking the food wet there because they had nowhere to eat because obviously now we have a lot more prisoners um, so I've put a bunch more tables down alright um, also from the logistics So we've got our max job site and we've got the room quality. Now as you can see, um, let's zoom in a bit, a lot of people, he deserves one, he's got a one, but a lot of people deserve better rooms and the best we have are twos. I um, also want to check, I think one room is invalid because we've got an odd amount of rooms and we shouldn't because it's one, two, three, four. Five, six, so six times anything should be even. So we have an un in un invalid room. I don't know if it's got that because we have a certain amount of beds in the holding cell. I'll have to check about that. Um, so I want to make at least these rooms a bit nicer, and I want to put some um, windows on the other side as well, so we get a few nicer rooms. So I'm going to give them good boys TV so we get a few rooms with the TV and then these ones although they won't have the window they'll have the TV as well now obviously we're sticking to the smaller rooms for now but um, probably what we'll do We'll add another bunch of rooms up the back. We'll do an expansion up the back um, and do another bunch of rooms and have that's a naughty boy cell. I'll probably do these two as normal cells and then I'm going to do a whole roll, a whole roll, a whole row of solitary down there. Naughty boy cells. And we want window, large window. Large no, we want a window, not a large window, they might escape from that. Even though they'll probably escape from the um, the pipes that I've laid down. I had a comment about that. I was aware about it, um, and I did comment when I realised what I'd done. Uh, I was just too lazy to fix it, so I'll probably next time I'm in the utilities fix it. I don't know if I'm going to fix it or not, but yeah, it's something that needs to be taken care of anyway. So that's that. Now in the common room I had put some more stuff, haven't I? So that I'm going to have to redo, because that I forgot to do. So there's another pool table, and we added some more TVs. 
got how many we added, but that should do. All right. So that's pretty much what we want to do for that. Now, um, I was also thinking about this area here. Now we need a better shower. Now, if you can see, I've also found another. Um, let's not snitch this guy. His ex-law enforcement. Um, so I've marked him as ex-law enforcement. Now, the, sometimes they come in with a reputation, and you know about them. That's how I knew about that snitch and about him. Um, but I need the confidential informants to be able to um, to identify them easily and right now we don't have anyone in solitary so once that we get someone in solitary then we can probably identify them a bit easier. We've got a couple with question marks already so they have a reputation we just don't know what it is um, that's that so this area we need to sort it out so we need a bigger shower and whole thing's frozen Hello. Okay, it's working up. Yeah, I thought maybe I can put the door up here. Because if I put jail door up here, and then I Object or what? might be a fence. Yeah, so we take that off, and then if I put stuff door here, I can move this up, move these over, get rid of the storage, and we'll have an extra visitation, which will help us a lot. Okay, um. It's getting a bit jumpy again, so I'm just going to see what's going on, and I'll be right back. Let me pause it, and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, the uh, problem, I think it was, I was rendering at the same time as recording, and obviously rendering takes a lot of power. Um, so let's press play again. Still a bit jumpy, but I think it should be okay now. I'm just worried it will crash. Um, so we're continuing with the um, the changes to the visitation area. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, I'm going to unmark the storage. Where is storage? Completely overlooking at STO storage. I could have just marked it as visitation. And it doesn't want to click anything. Okay. Objects. Stuff door. Remove. No, we don't want like that. We want dismantle. Clicking like crazy. Okay, this job in progress. Demolish walls. I'm gonna try and do this. At least. Um, at least interference to our visitation as possible. So that. Um, so we've got nine families waiting to visit. So obviously I don't want to close down visitation. Um, so what I'll try and do is get the next table in and move it over and things like that. So and it still isn't working properly. It's not rendering anymore. Um, let me just gonna close Chrome. And I close 
Sony Vegas altogether. This maybe just having open is enough. Which probably it is enough to bugger it up. So then we just want to move some things over. So we put a brick wall here. This wall. Oh no, no, let's remove this door. It closes. Okay. Now we can get the um, visitor table. Rooms. It's a lot of work just to add one table, but I think that one table will make a difference. Um, then what I want to do at some point is I'm going to move the parole over in this area when we expand here. So we'll have like one parole area for the whole prison and all the different, like, Max Sec and everyone will go there to that parole, I think. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I don't know what, what would work out best. Either they all have their own individual uh, parole rooms, but... Um, so... Um, just clicking backwards and forwards on the same thing. Visitation... Go. Then what I want to do I guess that could stay there. Do a brick wall like that. Then I want to move Semi safe once they knock that down before they open that. And he's going to do that first and probably get himself stuck. like this is much better I 
guess sometimes, you know, when you re-seeing things, you notice stuff you didn't the first time. I guess. Okay, that's gonna be dismantled. So now I can put this wizard's table here. If he wants to click. Okay, and we can put the other one. So we do still have an extra space really. That's okay. It's not ideal. But so I want to demolish if it's gonna let me click. Demolish here. Demolish here. And brick wall here. Click again. It might have been an auto save that time. Don't think I needed to demolish. I could have just put the door on top. It would have knocked it down anyway. And that means I'm going to have to move those two cameras and relink them. Third camera in as well. So this is Did it just go all the way around? He just went all the way around just to go. One. And then we put two and three when they finish. It is very jumpy, isn't it? Jobs queued up because last time. No. Last time I thought it was because the amount of jobs I had queued up. It's going to go out that way. And this is going to annoy me. That is really going to annoy me. So either we have to invent something to put there. Which I can't think of anything right now. And say, ah, that's like that for a reason. So let's see, what objects do we have? Could be a filing cabinet. So if lawyers need to reference any files, they can go there, or oh, phone booth, which that doesn't make so much sense. I think I'm better off just putting a wall, because the idea of the wall is that they're segregated from the... I mean, people just pass over the tables as we've seen, but the idea is that it's looks like it's sort of touching and the table's blocked off. That's the idea. Yeah. I think the wall is the best bet. Could have just moved it one over. But it's still... It's, it's never going to be perfect like that. Okay, so... Our next thing is this here is not serving the prison properly I think it's quite obvious um, it's struggling to cope so let me 
just pass some utilities. And obviously they're not going to manage to get there. Because they can't go on the... The, um... If there's two walls crossing, they can't put a pipe or something in it. So. Let's do that. I want to build up this. So we're working with brick. I'm going to go a bit further. Go as far as I can up to the water thing. I don't know if it can explode. So we need rooms. We've got one of them, one of them, one of them. We need a workshop, a laundry, a cleaning cupboard, a mail room. Haven't done the mail room yet. But the laundry I was thinking putting here. We need a second classroom for the other class. I don't know if anyone's qualified for it yet. Um, no one's interested in it or qualified. And lessons, and I'm going away from the thing. All right, well, that seems to be full for now. Okay. But yeah, I want to do the other classroom but maybe what I could do is have a smaller classroom and I don't think the mail room would need to be that huge even though they've got to bring everything through actually it might make more sense to put the mail room here and the laundry here Because that's closer to the room. It's about the same distance from the rooms. But that is closer to the entrance for the mail to come in to be sorted. I was thinking because I already have it piped up, but... We'll see what happens. So we can just do do this. Sort of. Let's build. No, we don't want foundations, we want walls. Let's build these out. And I still have to check the bedrooms. Go away. This really isn't clicking well. Probably if I was to check my FPS, I'm like um, about five. feel smooth and I'm complaining and I'm sure you don't want to hear me constantly yakking so I'll do the best I can with what I got and then we see okay so we've built out those then we want to change them and yeah okay well I'll whack it on high speed for a bit for a couple of minutes Get some stuff done, even though I don't think it's making much of a difference, is it? Oh, it is. Sort of. A bit. Alright. We'll call it an episode for here. Um, I'm going to just try restarting everything and hopefully whatever's using anything in the background goes away and everything will run that much more smoothly. Okay, well thank you for watching um, wasn't that much of an eventful episode just uh, redoing visitation and I have to relink those um, let's relink those now because you weren't watching me relink linking them so I, I was doing it under thingy but I think I can do it from
to. utilities that's good and I've still got this giving me the error here yeah. is it because of that maybe I should remove those doors and put one door here let's do that um, because it's probably seeing it as a completely separate room with no visitor table and that could be why we don't have any visitors at the moment so I still buggered up the visitor thingy um, I'm looking for this mantle object it's okay I like double clicking to get a click through and then I put one over there. Yeah, so they have to go through security and then they can go to the table they want to. Alright then, well, thank you for watching. Um, sorry, it was a bit of a jumpy episode. Um, I'll try and sort this out. Thank you. Okay, bye bye.